everyone, I'm PJ from Princess Craft RV. Today I'm excited to show you the 12RK Survival Series. It's a ROG trailer by Encore. This is similar to the ROG 12RK, but as you might expect, it's got some Survival Series features added onto it. Some cool graphics. I'm gonna be showing you all the details. One of the great things about this trailer is that it's six foot nine and a quarter inches tall. Why be so exact? Because you need to know if you can fit it in your garage. It's only 15 feet long and 2,200 pounds. So that makes it fit so many tow vehicles and it is ready for an adventure. Let's go inside and start there. The first thing I notice when I am inside the 12RK is quality. All of these ROG trailers are just such good quality on the inside. Now, these are built with an aluminum cage frame. That means it's fully welded aluminum all the way around. You do have fiberglass on the outside, a walkable roof, that's one piece fiberglass, but on the inside, you can see the difference. All of this cabinetry, and you'll see that on the outside kitchen as well, is a powder coated aluminum. There is no wood in this trailer. But even things like the switch panel, it's such quality work. The rocker switches, the labeling, everything is done really nicely and it's meant to stand up to really some heavy duty use here. So let's start right up front on what I'm looking at here. At the top, is the battery monitor. Now that battery monitor is part of the survival series. You're not gonna see that in the standard RK. Why? Well, obvious reasons, this has got more off-grid features. Now there is a solar, a kind of an energy upgrade you can do. That is part of it, also part of this um, survival series. Down below, what you'll see in a lot of the units that ROG makes is a really nice switch panel, very clearly labeled here. The main lights, the cabinet lights. Of course, this is the porch light on this side, and you do have underglow lights on this. You do have front curbside power ports and the front roadside power ports, rear and rear roadside. So you've got some power ports on all four corners of this. The switches are here, so you can add the gear that you want on your trailer. Down below, of course, the JBL stereo, it's Bluetooth. Um, you do have two speakers here, two on the outside. Nice 32 inch flat screen right here that is a little bit adjustable. Up at the top, this is the aluminum powder coated framing that's gonna give you those two cubbies right up top with the LED lights in them. You know, cubbies are so hard to work with if you can't see what's in there, particularly if you're in really dark skies off the grid. A power fan right up here. You do have the AC right on the top. Now this AC is 11,000 BTU, so that is gonna cool this off in no time. Right now, we're in Texas. We're experiencing 100, 105 degree days. It's super hot here, and that would not be a problem with this trailer. So. I love that feature here. They didn't skimp on the air conditioner. Let's take a look at the storage right next to that on this front panel because you have a really nice storage space. Let's open it up. You know, this trailer has 10 cubic feet of storage. Some of the gear that I have shown in here is coming with the trailer. Right here, you're gonna see this package of locks. Now, on the outside, you've got shovels, you've got some axes, you've got some different things that can be locked in. You know, you're not always out there in the middle of nowhere by yourself, so that's a nice thing to include. The package in the back is the standard package that you'll see with all the 12RKs. To the left, there is an American flag. If you're in Canada, it might be a Canadian flag, but, and a flagpole in this box right here, and the mounts are already on the trailer. That's part of the survival series. Yeah, a real cool feature, I think. Now, some of the easier things, there is a life straw that's gonna come with this and a book of survival hacks. You know, kind of fun thing to have. Uh, the electrical cord that powers in right here because you may be in a campground and that will be your shore power. 
part of this series is the awnings that are on the back and the side. There is an eight foot awning on the side of this trailer and almost full five foot width on the back to go over the kitchen. So the stakes are in here to, if you need to stake that down. And on the left there, that is gonna be the clip-in sprayer for the outdoor spray port. You know, all of this stuff is gonna come in a box inside the trailer. At the top of this compartment is the converter. Now, of course, that is going to change that shore power into 12 volt power. It's also gonna charge the batteries. Just, I love the fact that it is mounted so securely behind this door so you don't have to look at that panel, but it's so accessible to get to all those breakers and fuses if you need to. So right here on the top. So really a ton of storage. All of this gear could store other places. It's just easy to display right here. And that cabinet has a lock on it. I don't know why you'd lock it, but you might have some special things you might want to secure there. So there is one more switch that's not on this panel on the right, and it's down below in the corner. Why? Because that is the porch light on this side. If you're working on this side, you can easily open this door, turn on the light so that you can see on this side of the trailer. A really thoughtful feature to put that over here by the door, I think. Now, this seating here, it is so comfortable. I just can't tell you how comfortable it is obviously because it's a video, but a lot of people are worried about sleeping in this trailer. This is a queen size once you fold it out. It feels like a fairly small space in here, but it is a 60 by 80 bed. That is a true queen, just like your house. So if you're wondering if you're gonna fit in here, if you fit on a queen bed, you will fit just fine in here. It easily folds out. It is all one piece, so you don't have cushions sliding around. Once you pull it out, it makes a really nice sleeping area. It is almost four foot from the ceiling to the floor. It lacks maybe a half an inch. So uh, you can count on about four foot ceiling to floor. This is a five inch mattress, I believe. I'm guessing there, but five to six inch. So you can take that away if you're looking at what kind of clearance you have sitting on this. Uh, that just makes for, again, another really quality trailer. If you're looking to get off the grid or have a smaller trailer with a great outdoor experience. The windows, this one is an egress window. You always have to have an escape window in trailers. It is just part of the code. So this one is an egress. You can see it goes out like an awning and the same on the other side. Um, that is really nice because if it's raining, that rain isn't gonna come in and you can still get some airflow. Turn on that power fan. You may not be in a place where you can run the AC because off the grid, yeah, you're not gonna have enough battery power to do that. But you could get a really nice breeze coming through there with these egress windows and that power fan. Now let's take a look at what's on the back wall. Again, I just wanna reinforce the quality of everything they put in here. You've got the aluminum uh, cubbies up at the top with the elastic bands to hold things in. You do have corner cubbies here. They do have hooks hanging on them so you can have a little more gear hanging there if you need it. So some corner spaces. The lights right here, they do touch uh, once for blue, twice you get the white light, and then touch it again, it goes off. The USB charge port and the 110 on both sides. So if you're charging that cell phone, you can put it in one of those cubbies and always have both types of power there. Let's talk briefly about the wall covering. This is basically a nylon rug. There are some people who aren't really fond of that. I am a big fan for a couple of reasons. One is it's very cleanable. It is not gonna mold. If you happen to explode a Coke in here, you've got a fiberglass ceiling, you have a really nice vinyl on the floor, extremely durable, and this rug on the side is gonna clean with a mild soap and water without a problem. 
It is not going to mildew. It's not going to scratch. You can fill this full of gear. It can rub up against the wall. You're not going to have marks or dents. That's a really nice feature. So don't be scared of the wall covering here. There is netting here on the side and in the survival series, they add a first aid kit that is included. You know, if you're off the grid, that's an important thing to have. Of course, all LED lights in here. On this side, let's take a quick peek. You can see the control for the 12,000 BTU furnace. You can take this in very cold weather. A 12,000 BTU furnace is gonna keep it so toasty in here, even if it's freezing outside. Last thing, I know I'm kind of jumping around here. At the bottom, I wanted to mention that there is a battery disconnect. If you're in storage, just open this door, hit the battery disconnect, and your battery is being saved while it's in storage. You don't want to disconnect it when you've got your solar panel hooked up and you're trying to charge it. Uh, it won't charge that way, so be sure you leave it on in that situation. All right. I don't know, it's a great space in here. It's very comfortable. Um, I think someone much taller than me is gonna be really fine with the height and the length of this space. I'm only five foot tall. I do make it look a little bigger. I know that's a comment we get all the time. But trust me, a six foot tall person is gonna be comfortable in here. So let's go outside take a look at the features that come with not only the 12RK, but also this survival series. Now on the passenger side is where you'll see the mounts for the extra gear that comes with the survival series. You've got the shovel up here. Right in front of that, uh, that is a TV antenna mount. You know, there is a 32 inch TV in here even off the grid, you might want to be comfortable. And lights. There are light, extra lights on this. These two floodlights are here on the Survival Series. You know, the roof rack and the TV antenna, some of these things are available as options on the standard 12RK. Not all of them, but some of them are. But the extra gear up here, that is Survival Series equipment. Over here, you do have two different axes. Of course, the 28 axe is going to be for chopping, and then the splitting axe down here, that's an 18 inch. And these are what the locks are for, so you can lock these into place so they don't go anywhere when you're not looking. The Survival Series does have this powder-coated fender that is for you to stand on. With this window in, you can stand up here, mount more things on this roof rack. This roof rack has uh, the ability to hold 400 pounds. Now that's a dynamic weight. That means going down the road, you can load 400 pounds on top of this trailer. When you stop, of course, if you've got a rooftop tent, it can get over 400 pounds. That's no problem because that is called the static load. So don't worry about that. Going down the road, you can load really so much gear up there, up to 400 pounds more once you stop. The ladder here is permanently mounted. It's not going to move. Remember, it's a full walk on roof. And if you're loading gear, this sturdy ladder is going to be important. And that is part of the survival series as well. Now, just in front of this ladder is the inlet for the fresh water tank. This trailer holds 43 gallons of water. That is almost unheard of in a trailer this size. It's amazing. And next to that, of course, is city water fill. Uh, if you happen to be at a campground and you wanna just go directly with that city faucet. Down below is the spray port right here. You've got a spray that's not only good for the kitchen that's behind me, but you know, rinsing off. You know, you could even take a small shower here. It just clicks right in. We saw it inside that, uh, that storage compartment on the inside. It's the coiled hose, just has a quick connect right there behind the ladder. All right, 15 inch off-road tires with this. You do have the black aluminum wheels, a very good look. I am a big fan of the graphics on this. While we're going this way, you do have the port for your outdoor solar panel. That is a portable solar panel 
100 watts that comes with this survival series. All right, down below, of course, that is gonna be the cable hookup for your TV antenna up here. And if you want to connect to shore power, that's just above that. And next to it, of course, the vent for your furnace. While I'm here, let's just mention the magnetic door catches. My favorite style of holding a door open because there's nothing to lift, nothing to move. You open the door, it gets a firm grip on that door. So if you're in a windy spot, it's not gonna move. It's really just one of the small things that they do to give you quality gear on this trailer. Up front, the tire mount, of course, for the spare, uh, another powder coated uh, base here, the propane tank, all ready to move here. This is a swing up jack because that's how you get the most ground clearance. And if you're going off road, that's gonna be important. Along with the swivel up jack, they've included a bolt on coupler that allows you to upgrade to maybe a more off-road coupler maybe a lock and roll something like that uh, that has more capability if you want to go seriously off the highway all right from here you can also see kind of the aluminum framing as i said this entire trailer is an aluminum welded frame Nice rock guard on the front. Remember I mentioned this is a one-piece fiberglass roof. It is a walk-on roof. No problem getting up there, crawling around. Tons of storage here. This is a really deep storage cabinet. And outside, that's a nice feature on a trailer like this. You notice there's a finger hold on the base here. And that is because this panel lifts up very easy to do to get under here and see the battery that comes with it. When you have the survival series with the extra power, um, you do get one lithium battery in here. It's a 100 amp battery. There is room for two more. You do get the trays put in here, so you could add those if you wanted. That's 300 amp hours of battery power. The solar panel right here, the 200 watt solar panel, you just got a lot of ways to stay off the grid longer. Remember I mentioned you've got this nice, uh, almost an eight foot awning up here. A power port here, the switch is down in that uh, switch panel that we talked about. And you do have those all the way around that you can work with. Now back here, included in this package, is a 25 inch griddle. This is really nice. A lot of trailers will include a griddle, but this is the larger graystone, so it gives you a lot of space out here to work with. I just think, you know, again, a little step up in the gear that they could provide for you. This is sitting on a tray on the outside, so if you didn't want to use the griddle, you do have this tray separate from that that you could use for anything else. Now the top of the griddle isn't on here because when it comes in, a lot of times there is a, a paper covering on it. It was just a little more distracting, so uh, we didn't pull it apart. We want it to be fresh for whoever buys this trailer, but the griddle top does fit right in there and comes with it, of course. Now coming around to the back, this is one of the best parts of this trailer, the way they've done the kitchen. The kitchen, doesn't have a flip up door, it has double doors. So it opens up, nothing to slide out, nothing to move around, really solid handles on both doors. Let's start with the 3.3 cubic foot refrigerator. It's 12 volt of course, and uh, really a surprising amount of space in here. Up above that, one of those great aluminum cabinets you're gonna to have to store a few things here for cooking outside, but you know, put whatever you need in there because you do have a fair amount of space back here in these cubbies for any cooking items as well. The two speakers out here, uh, I love the residential sprayer out here with the sink. Now this sink isn't huge, but I'm okay with that because it is about six inches deep. It is about a foot in depth that way so it is big enough with a spray port you can always put tall items in here get this out of the way and fill maybe a large 
a jug or canteen pretty easily. I like having the counter space and that's why this front to back two burner stove works beautifully. I love the Greystone products, which is what they use in this trailer. Uh, the switches up here are going to be the water pump and this switch for the fresh tank to be able to see how much is left in there. 110 plug here and then of course all the switches that you'd need here for lights for the LED cabinet lights. Once you stock a bunch of things in here, if it's nighttime, you need those little lights to be able to see it. Just another thoughtful thing they have done in the 12 RKs. Uh, over here, the glass top, of course, can always fold down. It is an iron grid top, and that's really nice because easy to clean. You just pull it out. It's very sturdy. Uh, a little bit of a spice rack on the left. In a trailer like this, storage is key, and this one has a lot. You do have the microwave underneath. If you happen to be in a campground that has power, uh, you do have a microwave available. And bottle opener, I mean, come on. It's so easy to add, and what a great thing to have right there. Storage underneath here, so just always more storage. They do have a little opening in here, a little compartment. That is for, again, code, because you have to be able to unplug the microwave. So that is what that's for. It doesn't lead to anything else, except for the electrical behind the microwave. But see how nicely everything opens and closes? Real quality here, especially if you're going outside. Now, let's look underneath. You do have a receiver right here if you needed to add a bike rack, maybe a, a tray to carry some extra gear. Uh, real nice feature to have. You never know what you might need. The awning up top, of course, that's going to come out uh, four to five feet. It is almost five feet long, so that's going to come out and give you some shade, some uh, cover over the weather. Uh, just well thought out here. Uh, on this survival series. Closing these doors, I just love to do that so you can see how solid they are. Now one more thing in designing this, there are two colors. This is the forest green color. There is a copper penny color. Uh, it's a beautiful exterior on both of them. These graphics are only on the survival series. So if you love the look of this trailer, uh, that's how you're going to get that. Again, thanks so much for watching. I hope it wasn't too distracting outside. We love filming outside, but it can be a little challenging. Uh, thanks for sticking with us. And I'm PJ from Princess Craft RV. I'll see you next time. <music>